it's really been a great camp. Um, we, we've got a really nice blend on the team right now of returners who have kind of been there, done that, and have some nice experience. And then we have all these new kids. You know, we have 45 incoming kids. Um, and there's a lot of talent, but there's a big learning curve. So it's, it's been kind of a, a deal where our older kids have taken some of our younger kids under their wing and, and brought them along. But we feel really good about where we're at. Um, obviously, having more depth than ever helps. Um, but our, I think our team chemistry and, and, and the, the things that, I, that we focus on as far as being a family, I, I, I'm very happy with the way we're coming together. Uh, the depth um, was huge for us. We, we felt last year we took a, a step where we got to 77, but we felt once the season wore on and we started to suffer some injuries that we got thin in positions. And um, we lost three games where we were either tied at halftime or we're within a score at halftime. And then the second half rolled out and we just kind of weathered a bit. So for one, we're in better shape. Um, we've had a great off season in the weight room, but two, we just have more reinforcements, you know? So um, we feel much better going into a year this year than we have in the last four years. We've got some really explosive playmakers on offense. Um, Elijah Washington's back at running back, uh, Ben Burnham, and um, Elijah McGee have had wonderful camps. Devin Guess has had a great camp. Uh, we're hoping to get Des Holton back, um, who had that uh, knee injury last year. He's progressing. We think we're going to get him early. So we've got a lot of playmakers. Um, Cruz has done a nice job distributing the ball, and JT and uh, Trey Morris both performed well, so we feel good there. But really, it's what's going to make or break us is our O-line. And we have some veteran guys. Um, I, I believe we will be much improved there, too. So um, I'd be surprised if, if we're not more productive on offense than we were last year. And we were pretty darn productive last year. Coach Fields has done a great job of, of bringing an identity to our defense. Um, we're super multiple. We play really fast. And um, our guys have just completely bought into what we're doing. So I think that's where you're going to see the, the biggest difference this year. Um, not only him, but, but the staff has done a great job with a lot of younger kids, but a lot of kids who are super talented. You know, um, Andrew Baum has done a great job at linebacker. Uh, Daryl Scott has really um, shown well in the secondary. Um, and then we, we have a bunch of defensive linemen. We're going to kind of do it by committee. So keeping guys in there, keeping guys fresh. We want to win. You know, that's the bottom line. We want to win. But we want to go up there and play really well in our opener. I always believe that the opener kind of sets a tone for the rest of the season. So I know we will be hyped up for that. I mean, we've had some nice success against Puget Sound recently. So I know we're going to get a great effort from them. Um, but we feel like um, that, to me, is the most important game on the schedule. Um, shouldn't have a problem getting up for week two because it's Willamette. That's our rival, so I know we'll be jazzed for our home opener. And I'm really excited about our Week 3 game because it's going to give us a test against some really good competition that we didn't have last year. You know, we ended up playing um, Lewis and Clark Valley, and I felt like it almost made us regress a little bit before we went into our opener against uh, Whitworth that maybe gave us a, a sense of overconfidence. Um, but that won't be the case there. That's going to that's be a battle. You know, we'll definitely be an underdog in that game, but to go somewhere – different and experience a different setting and, and have some adversity, I think that's going to be really good for us early.